Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am bringing you a in-depth Miami tour video. So I'm splitting this series probably to three different videos. Today we are touring downtown, midtown, Edgewater, Design District, Wynwood, and Brickell. Let's get right into it. So first we're gonna talk all about Wynwood. Wynwood is known for the art. They have over 200 murals all around Wynwood. Wynwood really isn't that big, but there's so much art to it. And I'm gonna be inserting all different murals that when I went around and I was filming, there's Kobe Bryant murals. There's, I think I've seen a Tupac mural, murals about sneakers, just about all different types of art. And not only do they have a bunch of art, but they also have restaurants and some famous ones. There's one that I went into called Zach the Baker. I'm so today there's no line, so we're gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna go inside. How's the apple turnover? It's really popular too. It's like an apple pie. Well, I'll do that one. Basically, it's a famous bakery. They're known for their bread and their croissants and all of their pastries. So if you do come to Wynwood, I would go check it out. I got the apple turnover and it was very good. So when we were touring Wynwood, we saw an artist in the zone and painting. It was so awesome to see that. So much talent that goes into it and it's just so beautiful. So along with art and restaurants, there are also really awesome coffee shops. There's a bunch of bars. They also have rooftop restaurants and bars. They also have shopping. So we came across this sneaker store called Unknown. And if you guys are familiar with basketball, LeBron James owns this store. And they also have an outdoor basketball court. Also have events there. I went there for a yoga event. They have fitness events. They have all different types of events. So I'm gonna leave their IG handle here on the screen and you can check that out. And most of the time it's super affordable. The events are like 10 bucks and that's another way to meet people and meet friends who have similar interests as you. So speaking of events, sometimes you will also see people running all around Wynwood. Sometimes you'll see people doing trash pickup. And that's not just Wynwood, there but it's also a trolley that goes around Miami. I've pretty much seen it all over the city and it's free. So I haven't taken it yet, so I don't really have much to say, but I do know there's a free trolley. And Wynwood also has apartments, so there's not as many apartments in Wynwood. So next up is the Design District, the Miami Design District. If you want to go shopping, this is where you go. They have all different types of stores, mostly designers, so, and they're high-end designers, but they have designers like Versace, Giorgio Armani, Dior, Louis Vuitton, Cartier, cafes, they have a Fendi cafe, I've seen a Dior cafe, and it is family friendly, so if you wanna bring your family, they have little areas that you can sit at, and there are also some awesome restaurants in the design district. Now, when it comes to apartments and living in the design district, there really isn't many places to live in that area. I don't even think there are apartments now that I think about it, and I don't know anyone who lives there. It's not really a place to live, but it's a place to shop. There's also an awesome gym there called DBC. I'll insert some footage here of me working out there. It's an awesome sports performance gym. It's all one-on-one -on -one training. And there's also a hidden gem that I discovered during this tour. It's in a museum garage. And all the way up. It's up and it's up and it's up and it's up. TikTok. We're going to a hidden gem, guys. A hidden gem in the MDD. MDD for short. And it has like a pink slide and it has like a mini playground. It's super random, but it's super cool. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. It's in the design district. Go have some fun. <laughs> Parking. Open. Seventh floor. Up. Stairs. So the design district is basically right next to Midtown. You can literally walk from Miami Design District to Midtown. You just walk like under this little tunnel.
tunnel safe. So Midtown, I love Midtown. It's such a cute spot. Whenever I go there, I always see people with their dogs. I see couples. Sometimes I see families, but it's a mix. It's an awesome mix. And Midtown is very up and coming. I mean, it's beautiful. It's very newly developed and it's pretty safe. I never really see anything too dangerous there happen. Midtown has amazing restaurants too. Miami in general has amazing restaurants, but there's restaurants like Mao, there's restaurants like Victory, Tap 42. If you're looking for a bar that's super chill, go to Tap 42. They have awesome drinks. They also have happy hour and they always play the sport game. If you wanna watch basketball or football, go to Tap 42. It's pretty cool. Healthy restaurants. They have Cara Express. They have Miami Squeeze. Miami Squeeze is one of my favorite healthy spots ever. And I'm gonna insert some footage here of me going into it. So I am new here. Can you teach me how to make a smoothie? They just sure. hired me. Yeah, I got you. So I'm already in the process <laughs> of making one. Mm, that's so fresh. And what's awesome is you can make your own smoothie. And they have so many options here. So you will find something. Mmm. That's strong, but it's good. Wow, I feel like it just burned out all of the negative toxins in my body. That's literally what it's doing. So along with restaurants, they also have shopping. They have a huge Target, they have a Ross, they have a Home Goods, a Marshalls, and they also have parking. So if you're going there with your car, you're okay because they have street parking and they also have a garage. The street parking kind of might be hard to find, but you can park in the garage. So basically Midtown is a big square with all the surrounding stores and it's like other squares. So it's really not that big. And in the middle of the big square is a big grass field that you will see a bunch of dogs. So it's not a dog park because it's not closed off, but basically everyone just lets their dog run around there. And that's another thing about Miami. A lot of people don't leash their dogs. So just something to keep in mind. Now living in Midtown, Midtown has some beautiful apartments. A lot of them are on the newer side. Okay, so next part of Miami we're gonna talk about is Edgewater. So Edgewater kind of gives me similar vibes to Midtown, but Edgewater is on the water. Midtown, you don't really see any water or beaches in that area. They have a basketball court, they have volleyball courts, they have tennis courts, they have a dog park. It's a really cute little park that's on the water. Actually, it's not that little, it's pretty big. And it's an awesome spot to go running too. People have asked me like my favorite running trails. If you wanna see that video, leave a comment below and I will show you guys all of my favorite places to run in Miami. They also have another one of my favorite healthy restaurants, Pura Vida. They have a gym called Miami Strong that if you guys have watched my vlog, I have a video of me working out there. And they have some awesome apartments, let me tell you. A lot of apartments, so if you're looking, to live in Edgewater, if you're looking to live somewhere where you can bring your dog for a walk, where you can walk outside to just go running, just a cute little community, Edgewater is a great spot for you. Safety wise, it's pretty safe. Anywhere you go at nighttime, you wanna be careful, regardless of where you are in the world, you wanna be careful at nighttime. It's so hard to answer that question because th things can happen any time of the day, anywhere. So it's kind of like, just keep your eyes out. So Edgewater is it's literally on the edge of the water and on the other side of the water is Miami Beach. So all these areas that we're talking about right now is in Miami, which is different from Miami Beach. In order to get to Miami Beach, you have to take a bridge. And in my next video, I'm gonna show you guys all about Miami Beach. So be sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe so you don't miss it. Okay, so now we are gonna be moving of Edgewater into downtown. So, downtown is pretty big, has good areas and not so good areas. Downtown is a great place to live. If you wanna be very central, you're right next to Brickell, you're right next to Wynwood, you're right next to the Design District, to Midtown, to Edgewater, and you're super close to the bridges to get to Miami Beach. So if you want a convenient location, 
downtown is the way to go. There's so much history behind it. They have art centers, they have museums. That's where the American Airlines Arena is, which they recently changed the name to it. It's where the Miami Heat plays and where there's concerts. There's also an amazing park in downtown that's on the water. I love running there, but if you wanna see that video, leave a comment and I will go in depth with all of that. There's also Bayside. So Bayside is I actually haven't been there yet, believe it or not, but Bayside, as I've been told, is like a shopping center. They have shops, they have restaurants. Now when it comes to living in downtown, there are some of the most beautiful and expensive buildings in downtown. There's a building called 1000 Museum. I think one unit is like $10 million to live there. There's also another famous apartment building called the Paramount, which has like the world's most amenities. So another thing when it comes to downtown, there's a section that's between the American Airlines Arena and Brickell that hasn't been really developed yet. And it's not so safe. It's a little, I think you know what I mean. Another thing about living in this part of Miami is everything is so accessible. You can take a city bike anywhere. You could take your scooters and they have them all around the city to rent. There's a free train that takes you all around too but I've heard some weird things about that, so if you do go over there and you take the train, just be careful. Next up is Brickle. Brickle is south of downtown. I'm gonna insert maps so you guys can understand where all these places are. That I know of, there's two ways to get into Brickle. There's a bridge from downtown to Brickle, which, like I've said in my last video, if it goes up, it'll take some time, and there's always like traffic over there because Brickle is kind of like New York in a way. It's Brickle and traffic. Be prepared. Any time of the day, there might be traffic in Brickle. So if you could avoid driving to Brickle, I would avoid it because number one, traffic. And number two, there really isn't any street parking. Like there's some, but there's really not a lot. There are valet services and garages, but they could be, the price could be up there. So. Another awesome thing about Brickle is the Brickle City Center. So this is like a five story mall that's indoor and outdoor. They have stores that range from high end. They have restaurants. There's a movie theater. I don't know if it's inside the city center, but there is a movie theater in Brickle. The Brickle City Center does have parking. So it's kind of like a parking garage that you'll just find when you're driving around the mall. Apartments in Brickle, there's a ton and they're awesome. The views in an, a Brickle apartment, it's beautiful because you see all the city lights. Some of the apartments you could see Miami Beach from. Another thing about Brickle is you will see a lot of people walking in Brickle because everything is pretty much walking distance. So there's another section of Brickle called Brickle Key, but it's kind of like a private area, but there is a hotel there called the Mandarin. And it's a little small island, but there's a mini bridge that takes you from Brickle to the Brickle Key. And you have to go through a security guard to get there. I think there's a lot of families that live there because I went they're running which you can actually go there and run so you just run across the mini bridge and if you run on the outside of the island it's I think it was like one mile around running or two miles yeah so that's Brickle Key then there's also a bridge in Brickle called Rickenbacker Causeway or Rickenbacker Bridge it's beautiful and the sunsets they're insane so the Rickenbacker Bridge brings you to Key Biscayne so Key Biscayne has beaches. Key Biscayne also has beautiful homes. There's also a restaurant called the Rusty Pelican that is pretty famous. And I'm pretty sure they're mostly famous for their views. Like I've been there at night and the views are insane. Also going back to Brickle, Brickle has awesome restaurants too. Like Komodo, they have that Salt Bay restaurant. I think you pronounce it Narset. Barseco, Sugar, there's also gyms like F45, LA Fitness. There's also some group fitness gyms there. And there's also hotels like SLS. I'm pretty sure I covered everything. If I left something out or if you guys have any other questions, leave a comment below and I will answer them in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And like I always say in my Miami videos, if you are looking to move, change is good, do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon.